Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry it took so long. Um, I have grandkids, so if my daughter is tired or sleeping or whatever, I try to help as I can. So I had to go and pop in there for a minute, change some diapers, give somebody a bottle, make sure one has a blanket and special movies on because he loves that movie and, you know, all the things. Plus, uh, I had to let my videos upload because I uploaded them here on my YouTube, which is also Miss Angelina B, and on my Facebook page, which is Beauty by Miss Angelina B. Um, they did mute my part one of this video, so if you want to see that and actually hear it, you can go to either one of my YouTube or my Facebook page and see it there. Alright, so I'm going to start off with, remember we're using the Lorella palette, the Stain Neutral. I'm going to start off with Bean, which is like a dark brown a little just gonna plop that in the outer corner just press in just like that remember we're starting with a regular look nothing too crazy um, and then later on I'll do something a little more nuts. A little more extra. I'm kind of extra all the time, but if I'm not being extra and I'm doing something chill, this is kind of where I go. Alright, now that I have that dark down, I'm going to put this down because I don't need it yet. I'm going to go into my smallest blending brush, and I think I'm going to go in with Cool. That's what it looks like on my brush. Tap it off a little. And I'm just going to go on that color and blend. And then do windshield wiper motions so it kind of carries over a little. Basically just creating my shape now. And also blending out. You'll see the difference in a second. It doesn't look like a lot right now. But for sure, like, look at this eye compared to that eye. You know? It's a little bit different. Basically toning it down. Okay. Same thing on this side. Still the same color. Windshield wiper motions. And then blend, blend, blend down here. Okay, got that kind of going. Then to slightly lighter and a little bit more on the yellow tan, Mocha. And I'm going to put this right on the edge, half on, half off of this color. I'm going to blend that and then bring it in. Blend that, bring it in. Eyeshadow is literally a bunch of blending, you guys. If your shit looks patchy, honestly, you probably just need to get a little bit lighter color than whatever you use and blend that shit out. Or a clean brush. Just use a clean brush and just blend it out. Don't add any product. The further away your hand is on your brush, the lighter your pressure is going to be too. I'm not going to lie, I have a heavy hand so a lot of times I end up here and I'm like, oh crap, I need to move it over. I'm just going to keep, I just grabbed a little more of that mocha. I'm just blending, 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 just blowing it out. Okay, that's the blended side. Do the same thing on this side. That's pretty much where I want it. Put that brush down. Then, 
just to make sure, I'm going to go in with the even fluffier brush. That's the Hank and Henry Dell. And I'm going in with this color sand. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to buff it all over on the very top closest to my brow bow. Just to make sure, and around the edges here. Just to make sure that's blended. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to go into snow. It's a very light color. It's very creamy, very soft. It's a matte. And I'm going to tap that on the inner corner and the lid. Just tap, tap, tap. Blend, blend, blend. Honestly, sometimes your fingers are your best tool. And it's okay if I get a little down here. I don't want too much, but it goes fine. And then I'm just going to blend the edge right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Inner corner. And blend. So I'm doing this instead of cutting my crease. A lot of people would stop and cut their crease. Um, if I'm doing like a more neutral look, I don't really cut my crease. To be honest, I just find this easier and faster. And when I do do these types of looks, this is more of like my everyday. I'm trying to get going, so I don't really have time for all that. Okay, so that's what they look like. And for the very, very inner corner, I'm going in with a color called Sheer, and is a very similar color to what we just put down. It has a little bit more of a peachy tint to it and it has shimmer. Just like that. Going in the inner corner and tapping first and then blending up and blending down. Tapping, blending up and blending down. Now you don't have to do that step. Like I said, I'm a little extra. And it just gives you a little shine when you turn and talk to people. This one to me is not where I want it to be. I want it more shimmery. So I just added a little bit more. Blend, blend up. Blend, blend down. That's what I like. I'm just make sure this matches. Blend, blend up. Blend, blend down. And then I just make sure that it didn't come too far up my nose. Like that. That's basically the look. The only thing that I will do different is I will grab my... Where are you at? Where are you, brush? Oh, my Laura Lee Los Angeles L26. I will start with the Laura Lee Los Angeles L30. And I'm going to go into that first color that we used, that dark brown bean. Load my brush up. Go right along the lash line. Okay. And then I will grab, I'm going to go into the lightest color, sand. And blend that underneath. And repeat on the other eye. And that's pretty much the eyes as far as shadow goes. I will be back and we will finish off the look. Thanks.